Hi, my name is Robin and my film idea is about a tie, or more specifically about butch ties. You see, for me, ties have a very special place in butch dyke identity and history, and I think there's a lot that can be explored there. They represent a really great example of how queers take things from the straight world and twist them around for our own pleasure and purpose. I think there's a lot that we could say about ties and a lot that can be shown in images. Everything from why we wear them, what they mean, how people react to them, from businessmen on the street to the straight woman at the office, and last but not least, femmes that we love. I don't want to do something documentary, something too linear or explanatory. I want to put a series of images together with words that paint a picture, form a kind of collage. Something fun and playful, but also hopefully culture commentary. The base of the film would be a spoken word piece, kind of a prose poem, and the images would relate to it, but not be an exact illustration. Here's a little sample to give you an idea of what I mean. The first time we danced in that small, cheap bar, she wrapped her nimble, hungry fingers around my proud half-Windsor knot, set squarely between the V's of my crisp collar, slid them down the wide tail of striped silk, and told me she wanted to lick my tie. I remember it like it was yesterday, I'm sure you understand, though I wasn't completely new to this delicious, persistent desire where butch and femme become flint and rock, striking a spark from our very natures. But that was new for me, and, oh my lord, so, so good. The mere suggestion of her tongue on my fashionable icon of masculinity was almost more than I could handle in public. It was a glorious moment in the life of a tie, of a butch tie, and of this particular butch. After that night, any time I showed up to see her with a tie on, she figured it was a flashing light, neon signal green, as in, hell yeah, let's go, an invitation, a dare, a promise, and she wasn't wrong. You see, a woman, even if she's a butch dyke, never puts a tie on by accident, never just happens to have one hanging around her neck as part of an unconscious uniform for drab, obedient soldiers in some great army of bankers and lawyers. No one ever gave me that uniform. No one ever gave any woman that uniform. And even if we did fight our way into the cookie-cutter ranks of bankers or lawyers, for us the tie is still a sign of difference and defiance, just as much as it was for our bulldagger sisters flaunting the ridiculous clothing laws of the fifties with square suits and greased back hair in secret bars. This is no floppy bow trying to soften the cut of a power suit for the rare woman to slip into the corridors of power. It's a real tie, a long tapered blade in front of a thin tail and precise knot pulled tight up to the top button at my necktie. It's their tie, only it's on me. And on a woman like me, this perfect tie doesn't make me a power broker, and it doesn't make me a man. It makes me an outlaw. It's a butch tie.